So you want to learn to code and you want to find out what are the resources available to do that? Well, you are in the right place. Let's talk about what resources are the best for that. Hi there, and welcome back to Holistic Developer, the channel where we talk about software engineering and everything related to it. So today we are going to talk about available online resources to learn to code. And it's not surprising that in this modern world, a lot of people want to learn to code. It's amazingly how many people are searching for this. Uh, when you Google it, there are so many people searching how to learn to code or online resources to learn for beginners and so much more. And again, it's not surprising because if you look around us, we have computers, we have Google Homes that are really, really smart. We have smartphones. Outside, we have self-driving cars in the sky, drones, airplanes. We are surrounded by technology and it's no surprise that more and more people want to learn to code. And I guess, again, it's not a surprise to anybody that the tech industry is the most paid industry to date. So here are the resources that I found online that are, in my opinion, the best, that you should check them out. And the great thing about that is regardless of your level, are you a technically beginner or advanced or somewhere in between, the resources that I'm going to share, definitely you will find something there. Probably some of them you will be familiar with, some not. But anyways, those are the ones that I believe are worth mentioning. Before we start, I just want to take a moment and apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit sick, so bear with me. Hopefully it's not so annoying. Let's start with the first one. And the first one is LinkedIn Learning. And you might be, wait a minute. Didn't you say that you will talk about the free online resources to learn to code? And I will say, well, yes, it's, uh, I promise that definitely I did. The reason that I mentioned Link LinkedIn Learning is because I have been using it for over a year now and I really like it. And another re reason is that you get a free subscription for 30 days. And in reality, for 30 days, you can learn a lot. So that's the reason I am recommending it. From a glance, you can see that there, there are courses business-related technology and creative. There are HTML essential training, programming foundations, algorithms, project, project management, topics, a lot of different software design. There are a lot, a lot of topics. So I encourage you to check it out, see if it works for you. It does work for me. I really love it. The next one that I want to share probably heard of it is edX and edX has a lot of courses programs the best part of it is that any course that you find here at least the ones that i found so far you can choose to pay for it if you want a certification or you can use it for free if you don't have the budget to learn to pay for a certificate it doesn't matter just learn for now get familiar with it and afterwards if you need the certification you can redo the, the course. The one that I really like, and if you're a beginner, I would recommend to start with CS50 Introduction to Computer Science. And the instructors here are David Mallon, which is an incredible instructor, uh, an incredible teacher. I, I watched a couple of his courses. He has this natural way of teaching you something really complex and make you understand it. I think you can teach computer science to anybody. That's my personal opinion. Actually, I, I went to one of his talks. He had one um, at DockerCon, I believe two years ago. Yeah, it was DockerCon two years ago that was in Seattle. I love his, uh, his courses. So there are a lot of courses, computer science courses here from Harvard, Microsoft. If we go to the homepage, you can see that there are courses from MIT, Berkeley, a lot of different universities. So give it a try. You don't have to pay 
you can you can use these courses for free if you don't need a certification the next one that is really well known is Coursera and also it has a lot of courses that are completely online you can use which are also from really prestigious and known universities so you can choose what you want so information technology we can look here cloud computing <laughs> the best thing about this is that it can be anywhere in the world if you are not in the united states and you can not access you cannot go to mit or harvard or arizona state university any university <laughs> you still have access to that information from wherever you are are you let's say in pakistan iraq eastern europe europe asia wherever you are you have access to that that's the beauty of living in the current world you can you have access to these resources the other ones that are well known probably also but not so much talked about free code camp is also a great resource it's a not not pro, not for profit organization and there are courses for different levels as well and what i like about this is pretty easy you can you type it right away and you can run it and you see the result only if i knew how to type <laughs> world let's run and see if, how it works and voila here's your you, you passed your first challenge you get the point uh it's easy to start let's move on to the next one the one that i really liked i found it interesting is this code war and you lacked your level you are you're a junior middle level developer senior again as i promised different levels you select topic you want to learn i want to learn c sharp learning to program let's do that save it's thinking so the point is that there are a lot of online resources that are really really good it's just about you learning and dedicating time and effort to do that so while that is spinning let's talk about the next one web development there's the Audin project and here's the web development 101 40 40 lessons ruby programming 23 lessons databases three lessons ruby on rails html and css no gs javascript you get the point right uh let's move on to the next one code easy.net also a, a one that probably was worth trying i haven't tried myself but uh it looks promising but i'll tell you that you select this one um it gives you some information that you have to read it explains you everything where it's what i has video it has certain level it's interactive i really like that what's worth mentioning if you don't want to go to a specific one of the resources that i i gave there there's this mit open course it's massachusetts institute of technology which they are really really good with a well-known university for technology and they have an online courseware that you can study and they also they every they provide you everything that you need for that course what books do you, do you need for it what programs you will need everything it's available here uh, let's say you are interested in learning azure uh, you're a developer so while i was this year at microsoft build they announced microsoft learn so they have this platform now that is completely free you can study Azure cloud development, machine learning, and so on, and it's free. So you can choose introduction to Azure, Azure fundamentals. You can create serverless logic with Azure functions. You pick what you want, your path. So uh, from what I can tell, this one, this resource is free. So learn Windows development, write your first Windows 10 application. Let's let's select that. So you can be a beginner developer Windows star. It gives you a, a video, it graphics here information, say hello. So it, it gives you step by step what to do. And the best about it is Microsoft. They This is provided by Microsoft. They are teaching you how to use their programs, how to use their platform, how to develop application for Windows uh, using Azure and cloud computing, Microsoft machine learning, I believe. So And, and it's just at the beginning. The, the thing about it, if you want a certification again, if you want certification, you have to pay for it. First you can learn and then you can de determine if you want to get the certification. Learning is completely free and it's 
different levels. The one that I found really, really interesting that I recently found, um, I was surprised, is this tech dev guide by Google. So it helps you grow your technical skills with Google and has kind of multiple paths. So it has foundations to programming, advanced programming, machine learning, and cloud computing. Um, you choose your path. So let's say you want to go to found with foundation programming. So it gives you different coding challenges and walks you step by step what to do and gives you different hints. So let's say if you want to take this one, it gives you the challenge of something what to do and provides the object objective it explains you the solution if you're stuck it gives you different hints so it has one hint it gets you more and more and more it kind of narrows down depending on the level where you are so this is really great it's a resource available by google that helps you learn. As you can see, there are a lot of resources that you can use and learn um, to code. It's not necessary to have a huge budget to study computer science. Um, the, the caveat there is that you have to have a discipline, you have to have a schedule, and you have to be dedicated and, and learn. Hopefully, with the information I shared, you found enough resources that you can use based on your current skill level. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video.